So I've been used to traveling my whole life. I didn't want to feel like I was just stuck in one place. So, and I could not afford a proper retirement. Like some people, they buy the RV and they go travel and they keep their house. I didn't have enough money to do that. So I thought, well, I'll just sell my house and then I just live in the trailer. So it's, it's a more cost effective way to live and minimize your possessions. And one thing, you know, for most of my life, I think it's easy to fall into the trap where we think we just need to work harder and make more money. Uh, at a point I realized you don't always have to raise the bridge. You can lower the water. So that's what I decided to do. When I go to retire, instead of always making more money, I just decide to spend less money. So it's a cheaper, more efficient way to retire. Okay, we need to undo, well, first off, this truck is a Ford F-350 and I've had it for um, maybe four years. So I started out, I have the King, King 2.5 suspension with remote reservoir, a Toyo Open Country 35 inch wheels, a CB antenna, uh, it's a leveling kit, so it's 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 raised about three inches. It's a rock slider, which was fabricated for me by Cali Fab. It's a fabricator out of California. Here I have a aluminum flatbed uh, made by Norweld out of Australia. I had to redo the exhaust to fit the flatbed, and then Cali Fab made this custom balance for me on the rear and then somewhere along the line I picked up this canopy and this is aluminum canopy also by Norweld same company out of Australia I added these propane tanks there's my hitch for my Airstream trailer then I added this ARB awning so I have an awning room that comes off the side um, and then we'll open up the top there so you can see where the bed is. Over here. So first thing you have to do is pop open the uh, front. So on the inside, there's four locking arms. Mm -hmm. So all you have to do now is pull the arms up and then it's done. So now if you have, if you have a smaller truck, this is very easy to do. Because you can just stand here, uh -huh. right? Yeah. But for my truck, because it's so tall, tall. It makes it more work but that's fine it gives me uh, a different way of camping so it gives me more options I don't yeah. mind the extra work yeah and then exercise giving you exercise that's why I'm so trim and fit <laughs> All of the zippers, all this material is all like very high quality. There's a very large price range for these rooftop tents. You can go every, I've seen from 
like $600 all the way to 4000 So it just depends on the quality and what your needs are. This one's very heavy duty. It's going to last a long time. Very high quality. Yeah. So. I mean, you look at the material, uh, the insulation, the zippers, and it is, everything is very first class. So you mean this is 4000 this is, yeah, I, I have to look up the exact price, but it was expensive, yeah. Mm. It was over $3,000. Um, but anyways, let me get down, and then you can come up if you want. And Could you lay down, please? You want me to lay down? Sure. Yes. Plenty of room. I'm six foot seven, by the way. You know Yao Ming? I'm that tall, yeah. Okay, you're tall. No, I'm five foot eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Ooh. I added this cushion mm -hmm. just for extra padding mm -hmm. because uh, I'm spoiled. I like to be comfortable. This one is the That's the stock. Yeah. 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 Hot there. What's good tent? You have storage up here. You have storage here. You have a flashlight here. Uh, you know, flashlight, night light, and then it also has a exhaust fan because you get condensation from your sleep. This, How does it run? Uh, it has solar. Solar? Yeah. yeah. Is there solar on the roof, this roof? I believe so. Really? No, no, just for the fan. <laughs> not, not for the, no, no, not solar like what you're thinking for battery charging, no. I haven't used it that much. Oh. So, what can you tell pros and cons about this rooftop tent? Oh, well, I have the trailer, so I just wanted to have an off-road camper. Yeah. Uh, there's many ways you could go. You could just have the ground tent, which is cheaper. Um, but I like the idea of being up off the ground, like what you said, for, you know, like rattlesnake and wildlife. Uh, and it's very heavy duty I always have it with me it doesn't take up space in the truck since it's mounted to the roof so those are the pros uh, the cons are rooftop tent costs a lot more and it's maybe can be you know more challenging to use because you have to go up and down the ladder now imagine you have a dog you've got a problem because mm -hmm. you're not going to want to go up and down that ladder with a big dog. If a big dog weighs 100 pounds, he's going to have to camp on the ground. So it's not the best solution to every situation. Uh, it would be nice if you could have both. You know, there's some places where a ground tent's going to make a lot more sense. So for me, I've always wanted to have one of these. So for me, it's like a toy. I just enjoy having the tree house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a tree house so tall here yeah, yeah. yeah above the ground so is it the most practical no no a ground mm. tent is going to be more practical but this is mm. fun yeah if you like you know being a kid again this is a good way to go <laughs> show you the rest of the truck This is my camper and my garage. So it's my garage for the trailer. So you see I keep my mountain bike in here. I have a Krampus Surly. It's a 29 plus mountain bike. Uh, it's very good for the desert because it has the 29 plus wheels. So here, if I keep it inside, nobody can see it. I don't have to worry. It's safe. I could put the bike on the back of my trailer. And maybe someday I do that. But for now, it has its own private garage. I like that. It's safe. It's secure. And then over here, this is the awning room side. So this would be the side that you camp on. my propane uh, no I have a propane stove in here 
this is my 12 volt refrigerator and anyways yeah i have all my camping gear right here um so if you know my propane fire pit so when i get someplace i can get everything all set up and i have a way to cook and i have a way to refrigerate my food i have to take out all my cleaning supplies though because this is all for the trailer so it does double duty as my camper and my garage then i have all my recovery gear here i have all the soft shackles um and uh, kinetic rope the bubba rope in case i get stuck in the sand and that's about it for here so it does functions as both the my off-road camper and the storage for the trailer so yeah i can take this this camper i can go off-road and go camping and then when i want to go back home then i go back to my trailer my, or if i have a, a friend that comes visit me they stay here if i have company they can stay in the tree house and then i can stay in the, the trailer a lot of projects Nah, yeah. oh, okay, okay, I'm okay. Thanks. Ah. There are a lot of obstacles. Yeah. 